David Hill here with Scott Hurst, head football coach at Heritage Christian School as they get prepared to play Whittier Christian this Saturday night. Kind of a different time frame, different day and yes. night. It's a little bit different. How does practice change in terms of preparation for a Saturday night game? Is there any real change to that? And how do the kids react to that? Yeah, we try to keep it the same every week. So um, our, all of our lifting stays the same and our practice stays the same. So obviously you can't watch film the day after the game because it's Sunday, but that's the only difference. Yeah. But otherwise we keep everything the same. Yeah, I think it's interesting. And now what's going on behind me here I thought was fascinating. And being a part of football and being a part of traditions and all of that myself, I really value this, and I was glad that we could be here. Thank you for your hospitality and letting us oh, be a part of this. Oh, love having you, yeah. So I'm looking at this, and it, you know, I want to get the tissues out. I think your wife brought yes, tissues. Yes, my wife's a mess. Which is, it, which is just great because it's an emotional time for these seniors. Talk to us about and talk to our audience about what this, where this came from. It's a great concept. It's part of what makes high school football great. Talk to right. us about what this is. So this is our seniors' victory lap, and the lap before the last home game, they all we honor them. Uh, by having them jog around the lap one time by themselves where the, all the underclassmen are clapping for them and rooting them on. We also do a senior dinner tomorrow night okay. to promote them. Parents come and do slideshows, things like that, to really just honor our seniors. Um, I got this from a coach that I coached with uh, many years ago, and it's just something we've kept, at, kept as a tradition. And um, everywhere I go, we do this. And it's just to really leave a legacy Hopefully they're teaching the, telling the younger classmen something very important for the future. Like, you know, this is what I did, or, you know, we're hoping they're passing something along to them. I would seem that, it would seem that they do, because yes, every guy down the line took a little time. Right. So it seemed like everybody had a little something to say uniquely about their experience and what's coming up. So that's, that's just tremendous. That, that's what we hope it is. And yeah. see the parents out here, and I know yes, they invite the parents, <laughs> yes. Yeah, the first year I did it, parents were like, why were we invited? <laughs> okay, I made one mistake, we'll go on. <laughs> could definitely understand that. Here's another part that I thought was great, and as we, we check in with our audience, down there, it's just you and that individual and that's got to be something special and not that you have to reveal all of what goes on but talk to us about what that means for you and that player um we talk about our time together uh, how far they've come um and uh where they're going in life and that they're always welcome here um but yeah each one's individual and i have something individual to say about each each and every kid is, is unique. Mm -hmm. So um, it is a good time down there. Uh, the last one was really hard because that that's my ball boy since he was four, which is my son, and he'll be leaving me this year. So this one was a, especially hard for coach. Mm -hmm. uh, usually it's emotional, but that one was really emotional. <laughs> well, we could certainly understand why you'd be emotional about that. I thank you for sharing your time and sharing this particular tradition, and we're happy to share it with our audience as well too. I got a shot of one of the young men and the son was sitting behind him knowingly they're, the sun is kind of setting on their careers, but the sun will rise tomorrow. That's right? correct. And you start all over That's again. That's correct. Scott Hurst, head football coach at Heritage Christian High School, where they're getting ready to play with your Christian. Saturday night we'll be there with our crew, HSP and Sports West. Take a look. Be a part of it. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Practice that we do for them for our last home game of the, home game of the year. Um, so what I'm going to ask you to do is get down on that line of the goal line. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors. Okay? And then I need all the seniors down here uh, in the corner of the end zone. We all understand. Okay? Hey, gentlemen, this is a pretty cool time for the seniors. Make sure you tell them something. Um, if they meant something to you, let them know that they were, uh, they've were they impacted you. And uh, let's, let's just uh, enjoy our seniors tonight. Does this make sense? Sure. All right. Break it off. Let's go, family. Nice. Woo! Let's get it. Family on me, family on three. One, two, three. Family! Say family, you girl. Hit! White base, white base. Break! Break!
Hit! 